this is Dr. Rodriguez performing uh, an extraction of eggs. Well, let's see what I'm eating. Got a lot of good meat here. Although she's been dead for a while, we still got good body fluids. cracked an egg. Yep. I fucked up one egg. Holy shit. No wonder. No wonder she fucking died. Look at the size of these motherfuckers. Keep your hands out. You need to get that ready. Make a hole. This is what you need a scalpel for. For what? To separate the eggs from the tissue. We're good, man. deeper than that. I think if we leave it out in the sun, we're good. I think it could be deeper than that. Yeah, she was loaded. Is that her heart? Now that we, oh, that wasn't gentle at all. Well, that's not a heart. That's a liver. Oh, the heart's probably up here. Y'all want to find out what she had for dinner? That's her esophagus here. The correct word is esophagus. Let me not, let me not say what I was going to say. But yeah, she uh, was definitely loaded, heavily loaded with some eggs. And uh, I think this is the stomach. Unfortunately, her own baby killed her. You just punctured the heart or... No, I did not. That's her rib cage. So this is definitely the stomach right here. This looks like a liver. This. That's a kidney for sure. Those are kidneys. That would be the stomach. This is the stomach. So I guess we're going to see what this uh, lady had for dinner.
as soon as I can get a hold of it. I should be able to squeeze it out. One of the ends here. But not. Here it is, whatever that was. This looks like grass and some sort of seed. There's some more. Also grass. Well, almost reminds me of a fish. Not too much going on in here, you know? This would be part of the intestine. And uh, not quite sure. This part of the throat. Not quite sure where the heart could be. So this is, in here, it's everything she ate that wasn't digested. Where's her lungs and all that stuff? So look, this that I'm squeezing out right now was all the undigested food. So this is definitely a liver. There are more? I think the hearts. No, I can't that looks that like an aorta. That is. And uh, I guess this the dash hole is somewhere in there. Yeah. So I guess let's find out what people go crazy about. Let's see how meaty the actual tail is. Very uh, thick skin. Unfortunately, she's been dead for a few hours. Otherwise, I would actually try this. Yeah, I can see where this would be tempting. Look at that, look at that meat. Is it too much to go for its brains? Is that too far into science? I don't think we're gonna get a lot of brains out of that. It smells like fish, don't it? I mean, I'm not really breathing this in. It reminds me of when I clean the fish. That's the kind of scent. Yeah? <laughs> Carlos! What? Waft! Oh. Yeah, that's the, the, the scent that I'm getting right now. Uh, as if I was cleaning a mahi-mahi. Very, uh, a nice, uh, something that will taste really good after being cooked. The fact that it's been dead for at least five hours 
says I originally saw it and then found the time to do this. And look at this, man. I would totally dig into this. Very good looking stuff. I think this on the grill, get rid of all the, you know. What, oh, I got what, lizard guts on my. What reminds you of, uh, of an iguana, you get rid of the skin and it actually looks uh, very tempting. Still fresh. I mean, the bleeding. I'm not gonna take a chance on it, but yeah, we can't afford for you to get sick. I like what I see. I like what I see. Legs feel. I mean, hot. there's not much here. No, but apparently, like this part. The cheek on a, on a male, yeah, not on a female. So, are we gonna cut her head off or what? Well, I want to cut her leg off and, and see uh, if it's. I think we should be live streaming this. Another piece that uh, would be worth eating. I got the skin cut, I'm gonna break the bone. Yeah, that looks pretty uh, fleshy as well. According to YouTube, that's not the yummy part. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely. Waft. <laughs> smells, smells great. It really does. Just so everybody knows, I didn't kill the iguana. The iguana died on its own out of, from natural causes. I believe the eggs killed her. She didn't nest soon enough. Dude, you got to stop doing lines of iguana. But it really does smell like a very high quality fish is the closest thing I can I don't know if I will suck the toes but, <laughs> but yeah very uh not I mean that's that maybe the the, the, nah. the legs the tail you can see uh very nice Meat. Would I hunt an iguana just so I could eat two legs and a tail? No. If, if I had no other choice and I, this is what survival meant, then yeah. But no, I would not take this animal's life for uh, for that. For that. So there you have it, folks. Stay tuned for the We're gonna, head removal in I'm our gonna, next episode. Well, well, I'll do the head removal now. I'm just hoping that I save the eggs. I was thinking that the eggs would be a lot smaller. Can't believe. They're almost the size of a fucking... Oh, excuse me. The we're size of we're a, good. This is... The size of a chicken egg. Pretty good meat here too, man. Look at that shoulder. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Uh, That's nice. What is that? I'm not sure, but it looks like, uh, hold on, I think it'll. Something to do with the digestive system.
Go ahead and uh, snap its neck. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. We'll find a place to uh, put this head out and let it open its mouth. Oh, there you have it. Late night iguana dissection. That's all, folks.